What's up, everybody? It's Ivan with Trout's Fly Fishing, back with the forecast for April 3rd. Um, I'm a day late. This will probably be posted in the afternoon. I certainly apologize for the delay. Uh, things, workflow has been a little bit different than normal, uh, so a little bit of delay there, but we have got some exciting things coming up. Uh, some additions to the Sequester Series live streams that we've been doing, uh, podcasts is coming out. Uh, big thanks to Will Rice for helping us out with that. So uh, we've got some exciting things arising. Stay tuned to the blog for all that stuff. Um, also, Five Flies will be coming out. We'll actually be doing a live, um, a live YouTube stream with Russ Miller from Umqua, and we'll be talking about uh, some good flies for April. So stay tuned to the YouTube channel, to the blog, all that stuff. Uh, for all the exciting things coming up um, in the next couple weeks. So, wanted to talk to you guys a little bit, obviously, about bugs, flows, and weather, but I also wanted to talk to you about um, some other questions we've been getting quite a bit of. So, we're gonna start, number one, can you, are you good to go fishing? Um, actually, I'm gonna link an article uh, that our owner, Tucker Ladd, put together uh, down in the description. Um, regarding these specific things, but the basic gist is fishing is an approved activity. It's a recreational activity you can do outside, you can keep distance from people. What uh, Polis is suggesting, what CPW is suggesting, uh, you know, Angling Trade jumped in as well and said, look, you can go, please just try to minimize the, um, the distance and the number of people that you're gonna interact with. Um, so the distance you're gonna travel and the number of people you're gonna interact with. And uh, also keep in mind that you're, if you're going to a, a rural community, you know, their systems are already probably being taxed. Maybe don't you know, go three, four hours uh, to potentially put some of their systems in, in uh, danger. So that's sort of the take home. I'll put the link in the bio. One thing I will mention, so CPW has closed all their uh, campgrounds and picnic areas. Um, and then US Forest Service has closed all their trailheads um, and I believe some other things. Let me double check here. So yeah, trailheads, campgrounds, and picnic sites as well. So, um, and with the trailheads for the for the US Forest Service, they close the trailheads that have like big parkings, you know, parking lots. You know the finished parking, the finished trailheads, basically the parking, the ones with parking lots, uh, bathrooms, places where a lot of people can congregate, and the old cold COVID could potentially spread. So uh, keep that in mind um, if you're getting out on the water um, and pl and wanting to use one of those trailheads. <clears throat> so let's talk a little bit about. Um, I'll put the links to, in the description to both that blog and then an angling trade blog from Kirk Dieter that I think is uh, a good one as well. It's talking about the elephant in the room, going fishing with coronavirus. So I'll put that those links in the description, check those out. Uh, the other thing I should mention is fishing licenses are, uh, your 2019 fishing license expired on the 31st of March. And if you haven't yet done so and you're planning on getting out, make sure to purchase your uh, fishing license for 2020 um, online. So CPW's website, I think the shop is cpwshop.com. You can purchase them online. Because of COVID, the um, fishing licenses delivery is being delayed by about 45 days. So the temporary authorization number that you get at the end of checkout, keep that you know, do a, take a screenshot, keep it on your phone. Um, you know, that will suffice uh, in the interim. So uh, they've already mentioned that on their website uh, and you know, they're doing their best to sort of navigate these interesting times as well. So as we all are. Uh, the other thing I'll mention, um, so we don't have all of our flies online and we've actually taken down quite a few flies uh, as we go back and now audit and make sure we have uh, correct stock um, listed for all of our flies. So right now you'll start to see that sort of library build up, uh, but right now as it stands, the best way to get the flies you want um, is to utilize the staff picks option. So I'll again, put the link in the description, um, but the staff picks options basically 
you pick what water you're gonna go to, how many flies you wanna get, whether you want dries and nymphs, nymphs only or dries only. And then when you put when you put that order in, you can actually place, uh, you put a note when you're checking out if you wanted specific flies. And if we have those flies, we'll be able to fill them. It's just a little bit cleaner of a system right now. We're obviously running with fewer people in the shop, uh, AKA like one person in the shop, um, you know, fulfilling orders. So it's just a little bit of a cleaner system. Uh, it makes for, uh, you know, you guys getting your flat, your orders faster and getting more of what you want um, in a timely fashion. So uh, keep that in mind. Link in the description for staff picks. Uh, let's get down to the nitty gritty. Let's talk about fishing. Bugs, flow, and weather. So bugs I would have in my box. Extended body blueing olive. I would also throw in the sparkle done. Um, you can obviously throw in parachute atoms standard beta patterns, but I think those two flies uh, will get it done really well. You can also throw a film critic in there if they're eating mergers, but generally, especially early on the hatch, they don't necessarily, they're not as picky, uh, so you can go with sort of you know, confidence flies. So that extended body blueing olive and uh, the sparkle done uh, will get the job done from my perspective. Uh, midges are still present, you know, having midge dries, Griffith's gnats, Eric's high vids midge uh, will also put fish in the net. Um, if you're throwing subsurface, I'm going to keep it pretty simple. Foam back emerger, RS2s, bars emergers, all good options for blue wings. Your midges are still going to play a role. Miracle midges, uh, Manhattan midges, Massacre midges. Um, you know, that's also something that I would have. I would have midges. Because midges are going to be around, they're always around, so uh, have some midges. And then, um, you know, Mi Mayor's mini leech, uh, the wired stonefly, you know, stoneflies are, are going to be present. Leeches are always present. Um, eggs are going to start to play a bigger role. So, uh, you know, the sort of the standard stuff that we've been talking about with the attractors, eggs, worms, leeches, stoneflies, and then more of a focus on the blue wings is going to be... Uh, sort of my take on things, uh, you know, moving away from the midges, midges will still be present, still work, but uh, blue wings are going to become a little bit more uh, prevalent, you know, size 16 on the big side, but generally 18s, 20s, and 22s uh, will do the job. So, All right, let's take flows. Uh, on the South Platte, we've actually seen a bit of a drop. Uh, Decker's dropped below, I think about 100, and then jumped back up to 165, uh, and so in the next couple of days, you start to see fish settle a little bit more. I'd imagine that they're not super happy uh, with the flow variation. So uh, hopefully, as you know, we get to tomorrow and into Sunday, those fish will sort of settle into their uh, preferred spots at 165. Uh, 11 mile nine, at 99, Dreamstream at 49. So Dreamstream dropped quite a bit. 11 mile has also dropped as well. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, dropping flows you know, generally can make you know, for better holding water in this early springtime uh, portion of the year where you know, fish can sort of, you know, they have some slower water where they can jump into the fast water, jump into the riffles, but still you know, not put a lot of effort in. It also opens up dry fly flats quite a bit. Um, you know, lower flows, generally slower water. You know, fish can you know, sort of tune in and hone in on some of those dry flies. So uh, good opportunities for dry flies along the South Platte. Eagle at Avon 84, Colorado 682, and Arkansas 202. Uh, obviously these are low base, you know, lower base flows. We'll see some uh, bumps and flows there. Um, you know, the Freestones, especially for the, from my perspective, especially for the Front Rangers, um, you know, going up 70, maybe not the best idea. Um, but if you're already in the community, by all means, uh, blue wings, midges, attractors, streamers will all uh, get the job done on those rivers. So, all right, so weather uh, in Sedalia, so on the way to, to Deckers over the next uh, week. So it's cloudy, 43 today, 56 mostly sunny. So it's sunny through the weekend, um, you know, highs into the upper 60s. Uh, and then towards the end of next week, uh, we see a bunch of showers in some uh, mixed rain snow showers coming through. Um, sort of seeing the same sort of trend with lower temperatures up uh, near Vail. Um, you know, with that forecast in mind, 
definitely the afternoons during the sunny days is when I would expect the blue wings to come out. Uh, but when you start to get into those, some of those cloudier days, uh, that's when I would expect you, know, you could see fish hatching or blue wing olives hatching and fish responding to that hatch uh, you know, throughout the day with that cloud cover. Obviously the showers and any wind that you have uh, coming through, which wind speeds never getting really above 10 miles per hour um, over the next two weeks. So that's uh, you know, positive for, uh, for dry fly fishing. So keep that in mind. Uh, obviously we're starting to get into some nice weather. Uh, I hope you guys are staying safe, being responsible, getting outside, um, and enjoying all this extra time at home. Uh, yeah, so appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Uh, stay tuned. So on, as I mentioned, on Monday we're going to do Five Flies, except we're going to do it Five Flies Live uh, on our YouTube. I'll put the link in the description below. And then we're also uh, you know, going to do some more sequester series stuff coming up as well. So I uh, have some interesting things in store there. So uh, stay tuned. <clears throat> Certainly appreciate you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.